Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel 2. So here we are at Azuril Island, right on Route 125. Last time we caught some more legendary and mythical Pokemon. This time we're going to keep on going. So we're going to explore Azuril Island. So here is Azuril Island Cave. Now let's name that because there are a bunch of Azuril around. And also... This cave is home to a bunch of Seal, Sveal, Azuril, and several other, um, several other cold-loving Pokemon. Alright. So, alright, let's... I'm gonna go this way. Okay, here's... Alright. So, here's Nazuro. Oh, it's so cute! Alright, I love Azuril. Are we seriously gonna miss? Crunch. Alright. Moment of truth. Do you have huge power? That doesn't look like huge power damage. I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna flinch. Ooh, holding leftovers. Huh. Thunder. <laughs> Crunch and thunder. With leftovers. So a wild Pokemon has popped our coffee. That has just happened. Alright. Let's luxury ball. You're in the red zone. Come on. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. So Azuril was caught. Its tail, which is packed with nutrition, is very bouncy like a rubber ball. On sunny days, they gather at the edge of water and splash about for fun. It's the polka dot Pokemon. Aww. Um... Let's call you, um, you're cute. I'm gonna call you cute. All right. I see, I don't really need that. So this cave is filled with Azuril. So if you if you're looking for an Azuril, if you don't want to read, I mean you can get Maril in a lot of different places, but if you don't feel like um, reading for an Azuril, this is definitely a place you can go do that. Well, you can go catch one. Um, who can use HP? Uh, here you go. Why not? Take an take an EV. Here, have the lucky egg. Why not? The pen training cold around these parts is imp is, imped is an impediment to training, but with focus one can overcome. With this focus band, buckle down, withstand the cold. All right, so we got a focus band. Everything starts with focus. All right, obtain the focus all. All right, well, strength. Okay. We will want to use strength here. I feel bad Luke basically became our HM user. Here's TM07 for hail. Alright. Now, fun fact, there's actually a reason there's a Mew right there. You can't actually obtain Mew here, but, um, there was a, uh, well, I 
there was a thing in the, the in the original beta of Polka Aqua that I made a long time ago. That was actually the first ROM hack I ever made. It didn't actually become it actually didn't become the 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 present day Polka Aqua that came out um, not too long ago. That's actually a little bit different, but. I mean, there was definitely an inspiration from there, but a lot of the inspiration for that game came more from Scorching Scarlet. However, you know what? I don't really need a Shell Bell. Stall came from Israel Island. I'm just going to toss it. I don't really need it. Pick up the Nevermelt Ice. But the, uh... In that game, in, in Azuril Island Cave... One of the Azuril, um, or along the cave, was actually a Mew in disguise. So that was how you could obtain Mew. Now, um, the Mew that transformed, essentially. That's not the, uh... The way I actually kept anything, though, in the long run. But I did keep the Mew just aesthetically in the cave, uh, in the other ROM hacks. Just because, um, it's a little... Ministry Easter egg. Alright. Hello there, Lapras. Okay, so in Grass Julie, you get a free Lapras. Here, you get to encounter a Lapras. But not just any Lapras. It's a shiny Lapras. So, you know, you get a, you, you get a bunch of, uh, a bunch of shiny opportunities in this game. There's... There's the, uh, and by opportunities, I mean you're given the Fampy Egg, that's guaranteed to be shiny. There's the Togepi, uh, encounter. There's the Porygon 2. There's the Lapras. Alright, you flinched. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Sh Lapras is one of my, uh, is one of my favorite shinies. Definitely one of my favorite shinies. Alright, let's... Luxury Ball. And... There we go. So Lapras is added out of the Pokedex. People have driven Lapras almost to the point of extinction. In the evenings, it's said to sing plaintive, um, plaintively as it, um, as it seeks, but few others of its kind still remain. Alright. Let's call you... Um... Rare. Alright. So, with that, we have, uh, we caught a Lapras. Now, Lapras is a really good Pokemon for this game. You don't have to wait until post-game to get Lapras. You can catch this thing as soon as you can get to Azuril Island, essentially. So, it's not a bad Pokemon to, to add to your team if you're looking to uh, make the game easier for you. Uh, it's, it's a really good Pokemon for this game. But, yeah. It's there. <laughs> um... I mean, I'm okay with... I mean, it is late game, so a lot of times teams are pretty much already set by this point in the game, but, you know, if you want it for whatever reason, you can. Now, back here is more of Azuril Island outside the cave. But there's more than just a bunch of Azuril here, because back here, we see some more legendary Pokemon that are just, you know, waiting for us to meet them. Alright, hello there. How are you doing? Alright, Wild Raikou appeared. So, all three of the legendary beasts of Johto are just straight up right here, so... There's not, like, a whole lot of, um, searching involved with them, ironically, since, you know, they're, they're, uh, well, traditionally roaming legendaries, and they're literally all just, all just standing here. 
but it, it is kind of a uh, it is kind of convenient, I guess, if you're trying to catch them. They're all in the same place, and it's not like they're in the back of a dungeon either. They're literally just right behind a cave. You don't even have to go in the cave, just around it. <laughs> don't para, please. Of course you're gonna para. All right. You're gonna Psychic! That's okay, it's not gonna KO. We're gonna put you to sleep, you're gonna pop our coffee, and then we're gonna start throwing some Ultra Balls at ya. Wait a minute, we don't have coffee, do we? Alright, Ultra Ball time. Come on. You are gonna stay in this ball right now. There we go. Alright, so we caught Raikou. Raikou embodies the speed of lightning, and its roars send shockwaves shuddering through the air and ground as if lightning bolts were crashing down. Alright. So, let's call you... Um... Storm. Alright. That's full restore, so we don't have to worry about- and you do have- Wait a minute, you don't have a coffee because we gave you the, uh, we gave you the lucky egg, right? <laughs> wow, I'm- I'm losing it. Alright, time for a little bit more- a little bit riskier of a- of a job. Ente appeared! Okay. So, putting you to sleep... Really, you're gonna wake up after one turn? Seriously? Going back to sleep. You're gonna keep sleeping. Alright. Ente woke up. Fire blast? Yeah, that's kind of what I kind of expected. Alright, if I would appreciate it if you didn't KO. Okay. Well, I guess that's That's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Alright. Fan, I need you to stand your ground. We don't have the sleep boost, but, you know, you're still in the yellow. Come on. Alright. Entei embodies the passion of magma. It is thought to have been born in the eruption of a volcano. It blasts fire and consumes all that it touches. Alright, let's call you... Eruption. I know the catch rates are slightly higher than normal for these, but... I'm just having some really good luck here. Alright. So... Because it's still not great catch rates, especially for these legendaries. Alright. Alright, jumps, we'll heal you up. Now for Suicune, this could go really well or really badly. <laughs> Depends if this thing has Blizzard, and if it flinches, and if it wakes up. But let's go. Alright, Wild Suicune appeared. Alright, let's start by putting it to sleep. Air 
flash away. Really? You're gonna wake up just like that moon blast? Okay, that's not... Uh, that hurts. That, that definitely hurts. Zone. I'm afraid of a crit right now. I'm just gonna Ultra Ball. Let's go. Alright, you're gonna stay in the ball. I know you're gonna stay in the ball because I'm telling you to stay in the... Yes. Alright, there we go. Alright. Sweeping that is out of the Pokedex. Sweeping embodies the compassion of a pure spring of water. It runs across the land with gliding elegance. It has the power to purify dirty water. All right, let's call you Pure. All right. Oh boy. Okay, so it seems some reform grunts are uh, have our number. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, on that note, let's. Let's go heal up our Pokemon. Alright. So, on... With that said, I guess next time we're going to explore... A little more of the Battle Frontier, because we're going to find some more legendary Pokemon that might just be hiding right under our noses. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!